Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgamerguru.com. I'm working in Infinity Designer and would like to show you how to create this torn, worn, blown effect quickly and easily. It is based on lines with strokes and pressure assigned to those strokes. And if I show you the outline, it is rather simple, yet the effect is quite impressive. Let's have a look at another one. Same here, we have the base shape, which is the octopus, a few lines on top that give us the effect. Let's start with a new design. The base shapes are already in place, the silhouette and the circle. The key to this effect are the strokes. I have two different strokes. One is normal and one is added with a blend mode of difference. So the shapes of the strokes are adjusted. I have curves with pressure adjusted. One is just a simple curve, that's the tapered stroke. Then we have a rather wild one where I have gaps in between the lines for a more eroded look. And a simple one that's just a curve going down with a wider base. Those are the ones that go to the outside of shapes to give us that look of things being pulled out. I start by rotating the strokes to give the whole design a more dynamic feel than just a vertical or horizontal stroke on it. You can see if I place the grungy strokes, they do turn black when they're on the purple background and they turn purple when they're on the black background. Their stroke color is purple though. I'm taking the plain stroke, turn it into black and start cutting in or extending some of the silhouette shapes and extending the circle. Then I duplicate the strokes with the layer mode set to difference. I rotate, mirror them to have the stroke pattern look a little different because the pattern will be stretched along the length of those lines. So by rotating the stroke 180 degrees, I get a bit more variation. I also vary the thickness of the stroke. There's basically three settings, the full width, the half of that and a quarter. You can see the effect taking shape. I finally add a light shape on top set to overlay to give me a little bit of a highlight behind the silhouette. The overlay allows me to just lighten the color parts and not change the black. I added a bit more detail still and went to change the colors using an HSL adjustment layer on top. Here I could change the purple by just pushing the UI shift further over, adding a little bit more saturation, a little bit more darkness to it to give it a slightly different feel. So you can easily adjust to get the desired color. Let's have a look at the outlines and you can see there are not that many shapes on there, yet the effect is rather elaborate. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, leave a like below and I will see you again soon.